Hello everyone. So today we're gonna be going over the Mokjong or the wooden dummy again. This would be part two. If you haven't seen part one, please go check out part one before you watch this. Anyway, so just a little brief um, cover. We are going over the drills for making the bridge, right? So when we're punching, we're punching on the center line, making the bridge. Okay? We also went over pock. Okay? And today we're going to be going over how to add them together. And also we'll be adding in my favorite, Lopsal. Okay? So, when you make a bridge, this acts as what you can call a punch or a bu sao, right? In Wing Chun, in, uh, in the form, the third form, third open hand form, uh, bu sao, we go. Right? So, how we do that is we're going forward on the center line. So this is for straight punches. This could be for right hands jabs um not really overhands unless you're stuffing it but that's a different conversation we'll talk another time um so anyway mainly for straights okay so this is when when the straight come in you're gonna intercept by going underneath because if you just go forward with it the punch is just gonna collide in like this so you want to come underneath it okay so that way it stops it and it should stop it a little bit right here, right before it touches you. So it doesn't touch you. And that's why you come underneath. And sometimes when you're normally punching, if you're punching this way, and if they, for, for example, they don't know you're punching and they throw a punch, it could intercept it. On accident, it looks like you just did it on purpose. So it, a lot of times it can save you. So when that happens, purpose or on accident, that's when you will do lop sow. Okay? You can do pock too from there. You can go. You can do that. Also, it just looks cool. I mean, come on. Jackie Chan does it. Jet Li, all of them. So, come on. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's really efficient. I use it all the time. Right? Bu sal or punch and then lop sal. This is lop sal. So the thing about the wooden dummy is it acts like a real human arm basically. Because if you look here, it pulls. First of all, you see how when I tug it, it pulls like that? That's what I'm talking about. That's what makes it realistic. It's all square, see? That's how you know if you're doing it right or not. For example, with Pac, it should be going into that corner. Not completely to the side, but into that top left corner. And then, right, it has a little tugging motion where it even pulls the whole dummy. Kind of like when you tug on someone's arm forward. So it kind of gives you a little bit of that, real that realistic resistance and give. So the, the whole purpose of lop sal, when you pull them in, is even if you don't land the first hit, you're still pulling them off balance. So from there, you can do anything you want. You can pull them in, you can get them up, give them an uppercut, you can pull them in, give them straight shots. You can pull them in into a kick. Pull them in into a roundhouse. I mean, it's endless possibility. It's a really great tool to have. And this is how you do it. You want to do it slow. You want to turn your hips and your feet towards on the side that you're using to palm strike or punch. So if I'm using my right hand, my hips are going to be turning to the left. Okay? So my hips are basically going with my strike. Just like if you're doing boxing, when you punch with your right hand, your hips turn this direction to the left. It's like that, okay? 
same principle. You don't have to be to the side profile to do this. You can actually do it square on. You can do it to the side. You can do it 50-50, like it doesn't matter, okay? As long as you turn your hips and your feet a little bit with it, you're good. When you're doing it on the wooden dummy, you do want to use both your feet. You kind of want to be square up to it. Unless you're practicing some realistic sparring drills, then you can do it side to side, you know? But majority, you want to practice the wooden dummy being square. I'm not saying rigid and stiff, just square up to it. Okay? You know? Square up, what's up? <laughs> but no. Um, square up to it. Okay, you turn the punch. And you lop sow, and then you, while you're doing lop sow or pulling, you're turning with it. Okay. So there's a couple drills I like doing with this. Um, I like doing where you go pock, pock, da, lop, lop. That's one of my favorites. Okay. Remember, don't do this fast, start slow. One more time. Pock, pock, lop, lop. Punch, lop, sow, lop, sow. Pock, pock, lop, lop. Then lop, sow. Okay, and from this one, under, view, sow. This one, under, boom. Remember, you're not banging into it, you're just going up. And that will be part two for the mukjong or wooden dummy. Um, please uh, comment below what you guys would like to see or for me to explain more. Or even drill tips for Wing Chun, please let me know. Anyway, I hope this helps and I'll see you guys next time for another video, okay? You guys stay safe and I hope you guys stay at peace and kick some ass.